Welcome back, and today we're going to be doing a Xbox 360 video game collection live commentary review. And all this means is that I'm reviewing the Xbox 360 games that I own right now. So this is my Xbox 360 video game collection, and all my Xbox 360 games should be in this CD booklet where I keep them, except Final Fantasy 13 is still unopened, and I may do an unboxing video of that game later. For these games, though, most of them I got used, and for most of them, I did not own the original case, the original cover art, the manual, and the backs are severely scratched. It looks like somebody threw them into a blender. Fortunately though, I have tested nearly every single one of them, and the Xbox 360 games that I have tested all seem to work. I have yet to test the newer Xbox 360 games that I just purchased, but I am assuming that those games work as well. If you buy a video game that doesn't work, you may have the option to return it. So even though the backs of these games are severely scratched for most of the video games that I purchased used, they still work. Alright, so let's begin the review of the Xbox 360 video games that I currently own right now. Alright, so to start it off, I have Call of Duty Black Ops, and right next to Call of Duty Black Ops is Call of Duty 2. Right after Call of Duty 2 is Halo 3, the multiplayer maps. That game came with Halo ODST, and then I also have the game Lynch and Kane 1 Dead Men. Alright, so you turn the page, and there's one page has eight video games. It's two sided. Alright, so let me move this over real quick. And hopefully I could reach just the camera so we could get a clear shot on these video games. There's Mass Effect 2 Disc 1 and Mass Effect 2 Disc 2 Borderlands and Stranglehold. Alright. Now keeping these games in a CD booklet allows me to quickly access any Xbox 360 game that I want to play, so it's a huge advantage in order to save time to just be able to go in a CD booklet and be able to find a video game quickly from a CD booklet. That way I could play a game quickly without having to s search between many cases for an Xbox 360 game. Alright, there's Modern Warfare 2, Army of 2, Bioshock 2, Dragon Age Origins, or Dragon Age 1, and Modern Warfare 2. Alright, I think I announced them all. I guess we'll do this page first. There's the outfit, Call of Duty 3, I think that's Imagine and the Forsaken Kingdom and War Tech. Alright. There's Bomberman, Halo Wars, Ultimate Alliance 2, and Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Next we have Warhammer, Battle March. NBA 2K9, 
legendary and cameo. Followed by that, we have Facebreaker, 99 Nights, The Darkness, and Call of Duty World at War. Next we have Sonic, The Hedgehog, Lord of the Rings, The Battle for Middle Wars 2, Turok, and Two Worlds. Then we have Transformers, War for Cybertron, Chrome Hounds, Batman, Arkham Asylum, TMNT, and I think I mentioned them all, Batman, Arkham Asylum, TMNT, the movie game, Chrome Hounds, and Transformers, War for Cybertron. Alright. I think I already reviewed the games that I have for that specific section of the CD booklet. Next we have Sega Superstar Tennis, Overlord, Mortal Kombat vs. DC, Pirates of the Caribbean 3. Then we have Tekken, I think that's either Tekken 6 or Tekken 5. I think it's Tekken 5. Not exactly sure. And it's either Tekken 6 or Tekken 5. Whichever one's the one for the Xbox 360. It's probably Tekken 5 though. Fantasy Star Universe Sonic and Sega All Star Racing Saints Row 1. Alright. Left 4 Dead 2. Star Wars. The complete trilogy. I mean, the original trilogy. I think the other one was. This one is the original trilogy. I think the other one was the complete saga. One of them has the Lego Star Wars games 4, 5, and 6. Another one has, I think, all six of them. Alright. So. Lord of the Rings Conquest, Star Wars, the original trilogy, because the other one I think was a Star Wars The Complete Saga, or Lego Star Wars, actually this one's Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, so I think the other one was Lego Star Wars 2, The Complete Saga, alright then we have Left 4 Dead 2, Lord of the Rings Conquest, and Crackdown. Next we have Battlefield Bad Company, so Calibur 4, Time Shift, and Left 4 Dead 1, or Left 4 Dead. Next we have Dark Messiah, Resident Evil 5, Spider-Man 3, Naruto, The Broken Bond. Followed by that, we have Dragon Ball Z, Burst Limit, Fallout 3, Gears of War 2, and Earth's Defense Force 2017. Next we have Saints Row 2, Unreal Tournament 3, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, Mass Effect, or you can call it Mass Effect 1, or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1, if you prefer that name, instead of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Let's see here. Followed by that, we have the Orange Box, X Men Origins, Wolverine, Rainbow Six, Vegas 2, Naruto, Ultimate Ninja Storm 2. Followed by that, we have Alien vs. Predator. Actually, the name of the game is Aliens vs. Predator, Mortal Kombat, Ultimate Alliance 2 and Halo 3. Then we have your in the movies call call the Sep Saga or call Sep Saga, however you pronounce that. Grand Theft Auto 4, Assassin's Creed, 
I think I said you're on the movies, Grand Theft Auto 4 and Call of Sif Saga. Alright. Then we have Naruto, Rise of a Ninja, Halo 3, ODST, Shadowrun, and Halo Reach. Followed by that, we have Enchanted Arms, Dragon Ball V, Raging Blast, Assassin's Creed 2, and Circle of Doom, or Kingdom of Fire, Circle of Doom. Alright, next we have Enslaved, Dark Void, Fallout, New Vegas, and Viking, Battle for Asgard. Then we have Lynch and Kane 2, Dog Days, Star Wars, The Force Unleashed, Dead or Alive 4, and Frontline, Fuse of War. Finally we have Dead Space 2, Disc 1, and Dead Space 2, Disc 2. Now, even though I got most of these games used, and they were severely scratched. The ones that I have tested all have seen new work so far, and the few Xbox 360 games that I got recently that I have yet to test, I'm assuming they work. If they don't work, I may have the option to return them. And it's usually better to buy video games used in my opinion, because they're a significantly lower price. Unfortunately, you, unfortunately, when you buy a video game used, you have the risk of not having the original case, not having the manual, not having the cover art, and having a severely scratched disc. All that matters, in my opinion, is if the game works. What I don't understand is, or don't know, which is a mystery, I'm unsure how people who buy the video games new manage to have their games become severely scratched so I'm unsure why it is so difficult for people to be able to keep video games in nearly mint condition. Video games compared to other objects really take up any space and they come with a case so I don't see how they could how these video games can require so many scratches if they're kept in their original case or kept in some type of a, protect, a protective case or CD booklet or CD case but maybe people just purposely scratch them before they when they have the intention of selling them I'm not sure though but um, that's my Xbox 360 collection right now for June 16th, 2011. And if you want me to review a specific game, then send me a message or possibly leave it in the comments though. So thank you for watching. The Xbox 360 video game collection live commentary review. I'll see you guys later.